We're looking for a spot to put the water tank way above the cabin. So now we're way above the cabin. You can barely see it right there. And the outhouse is right there, way down there, like, I don't know, probably at least a 100 foot elevation change. So we're gonna roll this down, and about halfway down, there's a flat spot for, it's gonna provide our water pressure. Stay tuned. All right, we're about 20 feet from the landing zone. It's kind of steep. Here's the feature site. 550 gallon barrel tank. We gotta excavate it, make it level. Just seemed like kind of a halfway natural flat spot. Looks like there's an old road bed here. Back when they logged this, you can see it kind of going right through here. This is st steep as, this hill is steep as hell everywhere else. Probably can't see anything, but the cabin's down there. Right there is the roof. So we're coming out of what, two inch? Yep. Re reduced down to one? Yep. What do you call this flexible pipe? This is a uh, black polyethylene. One inch ball valve on here. So it freezes here, but for winterization, we'll just have to drain the line because we've had rain barrels out here for five or six years and never been a problem when it freezes full of water. on the skinny side, so let's flip it. All right, guys, here's our rainwater collection system. We don't have a whole lot of money up here, so we're just trying to figure out a way to keep this tank full, at least in the meantime, until we build a permanent structure. And so we got this heavy duty nine mil tarp. So you get the idea, right? It's nine by 15. I'll show you the business end. So we're gonna need to get a bucket here, but so we got a rainwater funnel here. It's gonna go to a bucket and with the filter on it, straight into the barrel. Uh, I keep calling it a barrel tank and it hasn't rained for months up here so we're gonna have to test it with beer before we leave beer piss beer pro preferably beer so since I want to hopefully get rain on Wednesday coming up here after Labor Day it will have some pressure take a rude shower There's gonna be a screen on here so it keeps the pine needles out and then we're, the pickup for the bucket's going to be a little off the ground to 
fill off the floor of the bucket to keep all the sinkers and whatever sludge just kind of in there. And the plan here is to kind of create like a, what do you call it, an air pocket? To kind of so water has to come up and kind of push itself in here. So it's a gooseneck. A gooseneck. We're going to take basically water from the middle of the column instead of like right on top or right in the bottom. So it's be kind of be, this water will have to be higher than this to push into here. Side shot. All right, we're gonna do a beer test because it hasn't rained in a while and we're gonna be gone tomorrow. All we have is beer, so. I'm I'll... against this. This is a waste of good beer, but it'll do it for science. Hmm. <laughs> is the tarp absorbing the beer? Most of it, yes. <laughs> okay, hopefully that does. Oh, yes. That drip did not make it to the edge. It hit the pipe. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Oh, look at that. Rain yaw. It's working. Oh, <laughs> Aaron's getting his beer back. Those Chinese tarps don't have any chemicals on them at all. Nope. This is a potable tarp. That Christie's red hot glue sure <laughs> tastes good. <sighs> Christie's. It really hits the spot. Alright, so we got our screen on here. Keep some of the particles out. Didn't keep that rock out. How'd that rock get through the screen? I don't know. I think that's for weight. So we'll see. I'll uh, come back in two weeks up here and uh, I'll show you guys how much rainwater we get or don't get. Uh, if it longs it rains, it's supposed to rain next week. So stay tuned. <laughs>